Welcome to part three of Let's Play Rainbow for the NES. This is Ron Moore along with the Wii Guy. Yeah, what? Well, yo. So right now I'm playing as Ko. Wait, you- Oh, you can play as Ko? Well, kind of. You just walk around. And you gotta rescue Rambo. She's undercover, just like she was in the movie, to rescue Rambo. I wanna take him out. On a date? Yeah, right. So are you talking about Rambo, or is he talking about the guy that who's kidnapped him? Alright. She's actually talking about, talking about Rambo. It seems weird. I want to take him out. You mean rescue him? Yes. I mean, this is 80s code, you know? 80s lingo. It's like, I'm taking him out. Yeah. Now, in the movie, she's undercover as a Vietnamese prostitute, so she's going to have to get this dress. Oh, my. Jeez. I never knew this about the game. No one's ever... Or, I mean... I mean, most of us probably only know the MGN review and never talked about this, right? You never talked about playing as Ko. Right. Well, I think Hornshack did. I think he did a full review or uh, play it through of this a long time ago. Well, I don't watch that. I don't, or I haven't watched that. Because you yeah. have to play Rambo to really be like, oh, I'll watch this thing to, you know, see what to do. Ah, oh, dang, it's the same freaking... I hate the navigation in this game. It's so stupid. Looks like you need a Navi. Yeah. Hey, listen! Right, so this way. So now you play as Chun Li from Street Fighter the movie, and I'm just gonna try to rescue Rambo here. Oh god. The Legend of Chun Li? No. Okay, good. I was like, this is, I was, wait, you said just Street Fighter the movie, not yeah. the Legend of Chun Li. Okay, right. good. Alright, okay, so now we're talking to Colonel Guile, and. We're gonna see Captain. Whoa, that looks a little glitchy. Yeah. So now we got a uh, Rambo's in one of these barracks. <laughs> I said bear racks. <laughs> bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bear Actually, racks. no. Good evening. Good evening. I'm talking to. Oh, Colonel Gall again. <laughs> no, she don't act like the general's wife. She acts like just a Vietnamese prostitute in the movie, from what I gather. But anyway, no, I'm looking for some. What? I'm looking for some. Whoa! What? what are you looking for? I think you're gonna say someone, and they messed up right there. A typo. English, like English translation. Gotta love it. Well, she's Vietnamese, and you don't know the good English. I don't know. She's pretending to be Vietnamese. Yeah. She's not really Vietnamese. <laughs> well, in the game, she's not, because there's a white woman right here, but in the movie, she is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know. Gotta, I think I make it a little PC for the kids or whatever. I guess. You got some Simon's Quest typos in here. Where the heck is that? I thought it was right there. I don't know. Okay, well, he won't talk. He's stuck up. No, no. No parts to do for me. Yeah. Too much money. Oh, well, I'm opening the door now. Thanks. Okay. Good conveyance to the player. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Mm. Oh, oh, it's Rambo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duh. Uh oh, I've been spotted. Now here we go. Come ah! back to action. Yeah. This epic music again. I love how it's like, this is like the Rambo theme. Yeah. I wish they would have put the actual Rambo theme in this game. That would be pretty cool. 8 bit version of um, It's a Long Road. Yeah. It could have. I mean, it could have, but no, let's not use. Trademark music and video games. Let's be like LJN and use well, music that's not related to the game or the, the movies. Well, I mean, I don't know. I, I think well, it's interesting. Like, if you get licensed for like the property of like to base it, the, a game off the movie, do you not like get the music rights? Is that like a different thing? Maybe it is. I don't know. I just, but either way, it's lame. Because there are certain ones. Because of course, like this is Activision that published this and. Uh, Pack and Video, who developed this, also did a combo thing with uh, Thunderbirds, based off the TV show, and they actually did, like, the Thunderbirds TV theme. Well, I guess TV show themes are a little bit different than movie themes. Uh, Whoa. Am I fighting the Fonz here? Well, he's did. I don't remember him for the movie. I know the Fonz was in that freaking uh, Rambo. Oh, yeah, you never saw the lost episode where the Fonz goes to Vietnam? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of, uh, the show he was on? <laughs> uh, wow, why is the show not, it's not coming to mind? 
I don't know, but what the heck am I fighting? Here's that guy, red guy with the big ears. Tell me what it is, so I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. The Fonz, what show is he from? Oh, happy Days, duh. Happy Days, good. I, well, yeah, like I said, it wasn't coming to mind. I need a reminder. Thank you. Alright, that's, that's the Platypus Tiger again. That's been put it in our low budget review. He's gonna put it. Don't put it. Back to the village. Come here, I'm talking to you. Thank you, Simon's Quest Priest. I want a green beard. Right? Actually, if it's, it's probably just moss. He like became one with the, with Vietnam and nature, and he just started just putting moss on his face. Hello. It's all natural. Goodbye. Let's what? Here. Oh, I was gonna say like, does he take you to the waterfall, the non exist non active waterfall? Yeah. Or was oh. it a waterfall? No, not a cave again. Oh, look out! The acid can kill you. Oh no, I'm caving in. <laughs> What's his cave story? Mm-mm. Far from it. So what's your cave story? <laughs> cool cave story, bro. Yep. I wonder if I gotta find another giant spider. That'd be cool. Unless the giant spider and uninvited would get killed instantly. <laughs> <laughs> ah, good old uninvited. This is Long pink pink snakes? It's weird. It's like the pink panther. Yeah. Da -da -da -da. We are pink and we are snake like. Steve Martin? Uh. Oh, Whoa. it's such a What are you I'm saying there? Am I playing as Jesus here? You see that? Oh, walk on water. Cool. I think, I think that's ice. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, I don't know where in Vietnam there'd be like no, ice. It's not, it's not cold. Vietnam, anyway. Uh -huh. Well, maybe it's a mountain or something. I don't know. Whoa! What's with the big? What was with that just big black? That's dead. I mean, he's dead end. That's weird. I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Graphics designer got lazy. He's just like, eh, just put a big b b b black box here. <laughs> it oh. means that you can't go any further. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I'm. Uh, what's this Mario Bros. Two here? A little bit. Oh, maybe this? it was just the side of a mountain. There's Cole. The heck are you doing here? Going to Thailand. I think it's Thailand, obviously. <laughs> She's still wearing that pendant. I thought Rambo has it now. You're in danger here. Let's go back together. They're saying this as if they met for the first time. What the heck? Well, right here in the movie, this is where they like fall in love and stuff, and. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Like. Yeah. She gets shot, and their relationship lasted like one minute. <laughs> Rambo, I wow. can't go with you. Why? Because I'm dying. Yeah, that part of the movie was sad, but then it was awful. <laughs> that. Yeah. Love when just kind of flip her, just flip the picture sideways and close her eyes. Yeah. Go! That's a sad moment in the movie, but the epic part is where Rambo gets into ECW mode. You should play sad music right here to coincide with the with the sad moment. Yeah, and we will see the ECW Rambo in part four. The let's discuss. So until then, God bless. And take care. Ooh, I can't wait to do this co comment. Uh. <laughs> Fail.